I titled this video 8 times 7 made easy because I show you a couple easy ways to figure out 8 times 7. First, I know that 2 times 7 equals 14, and if you double that, 4 times 7 equals 28. I know that 4 is half of 8, so 4 times 7 is going to be half of 8 times 7. So I know that 28 times 2, or 28 plus 28, equals 8 times 7. Since 8 plus 8 equals 16, right away, I know the answer is going to end in a 6. So I know 8 times 7 is 56. If that still doesn't help, 20 plus 20 equals 40, and 40 plus 16 equals 56. Let me recap. When I see 8 times 7, I just cut the 8 in half and think of 4 times 7. Since 4 times 7 is 28, I know I need to double the 28 to get the answer for 8 times 7. When I double the 8, it ends in a 6, right? Because 8 times 2 is 16. So I know my answer is going to end in a 6, which tells me that the answer for 8 times 7 is 56. Or you can count by 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and 56. So 8 times 7 is 56. We can use this information to help us figure out 8 times another number. How about 8? 8 times 8. We know that 8 times 8 is going to be twice the size than 8 times 4. And since 8 times 4 is 32, then 8 times 8 is going to be 32 times 2, or 64. Let's try 8 times 12. We know that half of 12 is 6, so let's use 6. 8 times 6 is 48, so 48 times 2 will equal 8 times 12. 48 times 2 is 96. Why don't you try 8 times 14? Eight times 14 is twice the size of eight times seven. Since eight times seven is 56, then 56 times two will be equivalent to eight times 14. 56 times two is 112.